Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, March 1st. It's the second Sunday in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 8, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 to 23, and a canticle from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 10 through 14. Please pardon the background noise. There's kind of a howling windstorm outside, which you may hear whistling through the windows and the doors. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Lord, who throughout these 40 days. Abide with us that so this life of suffering overpass, an Easter of unending joy we may attain at last. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8, and please recite it with me. O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, you have ordained strength, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what are we that you are mindful of us, the children of the earth, that you visit them? For you have made us a little lower than the angels, and have crowned us with glory and honor. You have made us to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under our feet, all sheep and oxen and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. A lesson from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold or silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. What has been built on the foundation survives. The builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. 
Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders, for all these things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the word or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Hear the word of the Most High, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God, that scattered Israel will gather them, and keep them as a shepherd keeps a flock. For the Most High has redeemed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and ransomed them from hands too strong. And therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of God. For wheat and for wine and for oil, for the young of the flock and of the herd, and their lives shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more. And then the virgin shall rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satisfy the priests with fatness, my temple shall be satisfied with my goodness, says God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, Eternal Word and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us now and forever.